Okay, guys, welcome back. Now, it is currently <laughs> like 4 in the morning, all right? You guys can see from a far, 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 far away <laughs> that the sun is on its way up, baby. So, <laughs> so don't think that I'm doing this like at 1 in the morning, which I would have, but whatever. Anyway, we are walking up. I want to show you guys this to the left of me. This is the... Maine College of Art and Design. Really, really awesome. I would say the other part of the building is more uh, is more interesting. This doesn't really give you that much. <laughs> but it's so beautiful, it's so gorgeous. The buildings here are so awesome, so awesome. I love it, love it, love it. And now we're coming up on the Cross Insurance Arena, all right? A lot of fun things happening here. And you guys, this is Free Street. This is Free Street that we're on. There's a lot of vacant buildings, things that are for sale and for lease and all that good stuff. I don't know, quite interesting. So I don't know if, I guess if you plan on coming to Portland, Maine, check out Free Street, you know, <laughs> maybe open you a salon, a little bakery, barbershop, things like that. I don't think we can have too many of those in my opinion. Yeah, isn't it gorgeous here? It's so nice, it's so nice. This is the street where sometimes that the famous cyber Tesla truck is parked. <laughs> just randomly parked all around Portland. I just love that. <laughs> okay. And you guys can hear the birds. I mean, I, I have gone to 32 states. You guys know that. And I've been coming to Maine for on and off for six years. But I have never... I've never been to a place where the these where birds are this active. It's like wow. <laughs> it's so interesting. I love this. You guys know I love music. And look at this. I just love that. It's just so gorgeous. Got your quarter nerd quarter nerds. <laughs> I didn't know it was an R in notes. <laughs> your quarter notes or half notes oh my gosh treble clefs all that good stuff y'all remember that <laughs> y'all remember that from um from music class hey cherry hey i know you remember we talked about it <laughs> so this is still a part of the cross arena like i said very big building has a lot of you know different activities going on in here you guys can check out um portlandmain.com um what's happening portland google just that area if you're in the area they'll show you all the things that are going on free and of charge because <laughs> there are a lot of things you can you can do here that doesn't um doesn't break the bank let me just say that again we are still this is all considered i'm um, a part of downtown and i'm not i don't live far from this i don't live far from this area um but then when i when I make my way over to South Portland, you know, that's a little that's a little farther away from if you're walking. But we want to get some walks in. I don't mind that. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, this is Free Street. Down this area is Center Street. This place is Aura, Aura, Aura. I don't know what this is about, but it's just, it's like really it's interesting. It's like VIP. Now I'm walking up, 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 up far in the distance is um, Congress, Congress Street. And you see the blinking signs and it tells the time and all that that's the the temperature the time and temperature building like i don't know i really i guess it's the time and temperature building <laughs> so it's it keeps the time and it it keeps the temperature <laughs> and it's the building but i just think it's so awesome it's like wow so awesome i'm coming up on something that really is exciting i love walking center street and seeing this every time I do a little dance in front of it. Do you see this? I mean, how apropos is this? Look at the butterflies. I love it. And do, now, what I don't know if you guys have caught this when I've danced in this area, but look at the caterpillars. Okay, I love that. Remember I tell you guys, we, <laughs> we are butterflies, all right? We fly above all negativity. 
Um, we are all things positive. We have an endless amount of endless amount of possibilities. So therefore, we can do whatever we put our minds to. And we're all equal, you know, and we're all amazing and beautiful in our own way, in our own right. But, you know, it's so crazy because we were once caterpillars. We were once like, you know, uh, just timid and shy and just not confident. And God allowed for us to go into the cocoon and come out big and beautiful and bright. And this is what I feel like, like for me, this is what, when I say those things, if I could show you, this is what it looks like. It's just gorgeous. Whoever did this did an amazing job, and I love that. I love it. And then this message here is so big. There are so many things that just like God just pops out. You know, let me just, uh, it pops out at me. He allows me to see. But look at that. Let equality shine. You guys, come on. Enough said. Enough said. I don't care what walks of life you're on. Like I said, sexuality, age. Um, whatever going on in your life, you know what? We should all be treated equal. That's why I, for my channel, I preach positivity. I preach love. Um, just, just do right. And if you don't know, like, just do do as do as best as you can. And when you learn better, do better. I think it's very very important for people to do that. But anyway, I'm sorry. I know, like, I'm so passionate about when I. I'm so passionate about life and I talk about these things because it's so important to me. And I just hope people, I hope if I can get through to one person, I feel like I'm already excited about, you know, the future and the success and everything. But let's just get back to showing you a little bit of Portland. Guys, here's the Chase Bank. I don't bank with them anymore. <laughs> Long story. <laughs> Some of you guys probably know that Chase has been through a whole lot of craziness. So had to not, had to like kind of get kind of change banks on them. <laughs> this FedEx office, absolutely beautiful. Here you have the m t Bank. Look at these buildings, you guys, look at this. Isn't that amazing? Again, the time and temperature building, absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. Look at that, oh my gosh. Got Bank of America. And I love this. These are some really awesome places, you know, to grab a beverage, some ice cream, maybe a book, a coffee. You know, you can grab your breakfast, lunch, and dinner in this area. So gorgeous. And this is a quite um, interesting um, statue here. Look at this. Um, it says Portland to her sons who died for the union. How gorgeous is this? I love how it is cornered with the American flag. I just think this is so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. I mean, how can you not love a city like this? And right over here to my left is the, that is the, um, <laughs> the public library. It's actually the public library. So gorgeous, so nice. You know, I could just um, stand here like throughout the day and just hit up a lot of different fun places and not really, you know, have to go anywhere else. <laughs> like I said, I can grab my breakfast, my lunch, and dinner in this area and also maybe grab like a little beverage, you know what I'm saying? A little adult beverage. <laughs> really fancy place. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I love how I feel like the security is perfect here. It's so nice. So nice. I love all the the history that's in Portland, Maine. If you guys have ever been, have you? Let me know in the comments if you've ever been to Maine, or especially Portland, Maine, and what you think about it. Or would you like? Are you? Would you be up to coming here and just spending like a few weeks, be it a month or whatever the case is, and stuff, and just to kind of get the vibe of the city? Because it's really, it's it's probably one of the most interesting cities I've been to in a long time. I would say that this is up for me. It's, it puts me up with New York City, um, Anchorage, Alaska. Um, oh, I'd have to say um, Frisco, Colorado, Dillon, Colorado, Vail, Colorado, Breckenridge, Colorado. Like it puts me like in the mind of, it's just so beautiful, it's so gorgeous here. And like, we're kind of reaching into the summertime, but the winter for me was absolutely amazing. 
It will got your donuts and your coffees. This is called Hi-Fi. I've heard a couple co-workers talk about this area or talk about this um, establishment, and I don't know. Like, I, I guess I'm staying away from it because um, donuts equal carbohydrates, and y'all know I'm trying to stay away from carbs. <laughs> very fun, exciting place. Very awesome place. Beautiful place to come and just sit and ponder. Y'all know I love to think. Maybe probably sometimes a little too much. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is Portland, Maine. I, I'm not even showing like a whole whole lot. This is I'm on foot, so I'm only uh, I I can only show you so much while I wh while I'm on foot, you know. So, but it's just so gorgeous. It's so nice. Coming up on Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Shout out to Do Gaming Z. <laughs> you know he got to have his. Our favorite mailman has got to have his Dunkin' Donuts. That's for sure. <laughs> it keeps a. It keeps America running, right? And it keeps our bro running, delivering that mail, doing an awesome job. And again, shout out to all my channel members, which happens to be also Hey Cherry Hey and Do Gaming Z. There's so many others. I appreciate you guys so very much. I really do. We got some Mexican food here as well. Like I said, a lot of places are, um, they're leasing a lot of places in this area. And it's just, I would, I would say it was a wonderful area to open up some, like a small little business and kind of get that off your feet. Be so cool, right? It's just so many different banks. It's just absolutely beautiful. For me, it's breathtaking because it's like, wow, like this is, this is something really, really special. It's so special. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you guys would come here or if you've been to a place that's kind of similar. Like I said, every place that I've been to um, has certain certain areas remind me of um, of different places. Um, and like I said, I'm just walking downtown here. It puts me in the mind a little bit of New York City. Not entirely, but there are some awesome buildings that I'm like, wow, that looks like it, like it's back in New York, you know city <laughs> absolutely gorgeous we're like i said we're walking on the cobblestone <laughs> i feel like cobblestone is like really comfortable i don't know <laughs> obviously maybe it's my weight loss but my back just feels so good and yeah i feel like i can just walk for hours actually i actually i have been i've been walking for over two hours now <laughs> I love the equality in this um in this city. It's a lot of um Black Lives Matter, a lot of rainbow flags, the peace, so much peace signs. It's just so much like awesomeness and I love that. I think that's very important. I wish that every city can kind of jump on that bandwagon and not be so segregated, you know. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, again, you guys, this is we're in downtown Portland, Maine. I've shown you a few buildings and certain things. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like I said, please let me know in the comments, you know, what you think about Portland, Maine from what I'm from what I've shown you thus far. I'm going to probably do more videos before I leave for sure. I got to hit up that museum which is pretty much right across the street from where I'm living. So there's no excuse. And yeah. I will talk to you guys later. Bye for now. <laughs>